New status update. Okay. Just take a deep breath first. Hi everyone. This video is going to be my college decision reactions 2021 edition. I applied to 13 colleges, 12 of which are in the Northeast. And the one outlier is Notre Dame. And it's the last college I hear back from and I'm hearing back tonight at 6.42 PM. I decided to make this video because I had seen a lot of these on YouTube and I thought it would be interesting to make my own. And my second and most important reason is that for me, making videos is a coping mechanism. It's just a way for me to de-stress. De so I made a lot of TikToks that I've inserted into here, into this video. Just making videos is a way for me to upload my stress onto the internet and just be able to like detach myself from whatever stress I'm facing. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you're still waiting for your college decisions, I wish you the best of luck. The first college I heard back from was Middlebury. And I applied early decision one because it was my favorite college, but I didn't get in. And this one I didn't film, but here's a TikTok I made like the very next day. So it captures my emotion during that time. Yeah, so now I'm panicking. Yeah, Don't panic. Now I am because I'm gonna lose my job. But after everything we've been through! So I just got an email from Rutgers that said to check my status. Wait, let me see. Maybe that was a hallucination. It says... Oh, you've been admitted to at least one Rutgers school. I'm officially going to college. Check status. Is Hora de llorar. Mm -hmm. Es hora de llorar. <laughs> oh my god, I just got the email that Colby posted a status update, but I think I got rejected because it was the most competitive year ever. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> status update. View new updates to your application were posted. I didn't get it. So I just went for a run to help clear my thoughts. And I came to the realization that the reason I've been so stressed recently and really anxious, especially this morning, was not because I'm afraid I won't get into college because I already got into one college, but it's because I'm just uncertain about the future and I really have no idea which college I'll end up going to, which is something I just have a hard time with. My MBTI personality type, personality type is J, so that means I'm a planner and I like to know what's happening in the future. And not knowing is just driving me insane. So I also realized that before the decision came out today, I was more stressed and more anxious and I was feeling much worse than I do feel now after the decision. Because even though I was rejected, I'm a little bit more closer to finding out where I'll end up actually going to college. The number of possibilities has gone down from 12 colleges to 11 colleges, which is really, it seems insignificant, but it's actually helping me cope better and helping me feel much better. And I feel more relaxed now than I was just a few hours ago when I was super tensed and like freaking out. Only 40 minutes until UVM decision comes out. And I feel like I'm always running in the snow right around the, right around the time of the decision. I fell in over here. My feet are soaking wet and I'm freezing. I'm pleased to offer you admission to the University of Vermont. Yay, <laughs> Ryan! <Yeah. laughs> Wonderful, congratulations! So I basically stopped thinking about college for the two weeks after I heard about UVM. 
But then this last pack, past week, I've been obsessing about what colleges I'm going to get into again. And I don't know, I didn't know when I would hear back from the next college, but I just got an email, surprisingly, from Trinity today that says, Dear Ryan, an update has been posted to your applicant status page. You can access your status page here. Okay. New updates. Yay! It is with great enthusiasm that I invite you to join the class of 2025 at Trinity College. Our admissions committee was thrilled to learn so much about you and to recognize you. Just answer the question, okay? Please don't play with me right now. Just, no, that's it, please. I just ate breakfast, and now Bates sent the email that their decision is ready. How do I see? Oh, status update. Okay. Dear Ryan, okay, <laughs> I didn't get in. <laughs> Thank you for your sincere interest in Bates College. The Office of Admission carefully reviewed your application and its supporting materials. We are unable to offer you admission to Bates at this time. Ugh, I got waitlisted. That's what I, I didn't even want to get waitlisted. I would have rather gotten rejected. It's 5, 10 p.m. and I'm going to be checking my email to see if I got into Dickinson or if they even sent the email yet. So here we go. Dickinson College. Welcome. Status update. I thought I was going to be right there. Okay. Yay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know why it's making me so emotional. I did not expect that. And they even like mentioned a specific thing about my application that stood out. Like I feel like they have a, I have a more personal connection, or that's just it's just really meaningful. The second college decision in one day. I'm about to hear back from. I'm about to click on the portal for Skidmore. I did not expect to have to hear back from Skidmore today. I I can't believe I'm having two in the same day. This is going to be like a status update. Congratulations on your acceptance. Dear Ryan, congratulations on your acceptance. Given me and the members of the admissions committee, great pleasure to invite you to, to attend Skidmore College in September 2021 as a member of the class of 2025. Apparently people in Connecticut and Northern New Jersey got their acceptance letters in the mail already from Lafayette. But I saw on the website that they don't send out rejection letters. So if there's no letter, that could just mean that it didn't get here yet, or that I didn't get in. So let me check. Nothing's in the mailbox yet. The mailman didn't come. I'll check back in a few hours. Now it's 3 p.m. and people in California said that they got theirs. Their acceptance letter. Let me check. The mailman hasn't come yet. Now it's 5 p.m. and people in South Carolina are saying they got theirs. Let me check. Nothing. It's 6 p.m. I don't really understand why they have to mail it. Oh, there's the... There's the truck. I wonder if he came to my house yet. He didn't come to my house yet. A few minutes. He literally just came, but the mail might not... I mean, the letter might not have come. It could have been delayed or something. Okay. Oh, I got something from Trinity. Oh, I got in. I got it. Yes. I got into Lafayette. Oh my God. Yay. Okay. I was not about to wait another day for this. I got in. I got it. You got in? Yeah. Someone on College Confidential just said that they got accepted to Colgate, but Colgate on their website said that they would release the, release the decision at 8.13 p.m., but it's 4.44, so I'll check, but I, I'm really nervous. I, I think I'm, I, I have a really small chance of getting in. When I applied, I was looking at Naviance, and it looked like... I had a decent chance of getting in, but then I got an email from Colgate like a month ago, and they said that they 
had more applications than they've had than they've ever had. They said that compared to last year, there were there was a hundred percent more applications this year. So I guess that's double. So if I had a small chance with the amount of applicants last year, that means that my chance this year is basically zero. So I'm going to check the portal to see if they actually uploaded it. And this may be the first of a string of the next, the last four colleges. I think I'll get rejected by all of them. This will probably be the first of this string of four, but I'm really happy with Lafayette, Dickinson, and Trinity. And I don't even know which college I would choose. Like it's, if I get accepted, that'll make the decision even harder, but I got accepted. So I don't know. Let's check. It's not there. Now people are thinking that the person who said that they got their acceptance was just trolling. And that just shows how toxic College Confidential can be. I use it a lot because a lot of people have helpful information. But it's it's not a really good website. People are always like bragging on College Confidential and it's like so demotivating and even the parents, the parents are worse sometimes. They're like, DS thinks this is a reach, even though their kid has like the perfect scores and this isn't even like that competitive of a school. So I, it's really bad in College Confidential. Even though it's pouring rain and it's getting dark, I'm still going for a run so I just can calm down before this decision comes out in about an hour and 10 minutes. It's 8.12, and now I'm going to go to the portal. New status update, okay. Okay, just take a deep breath first. Oh my god, I got in. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Woo! What? <laughs> oh, he got in! Oh. oh my god, I'm so... I What? <laughs> Whoa, that that was not expected at all. Oh my god. Whoa. Sarah! Sarah was finally home. Caillou was very happy to see her. Caillou! Ni hao! What? It's 6 p.m., so now I'm gonna check to see if Williams posted theirs. They never said a specific time, but early decision came out at 6 p.m. Oh, yeah, status updates. Let me check it. You update. I didn't get in. Good. I mean, not good, but like, good, I got that over with. They had room for fewer than one in 22 candidates. I just finished tutoring and now I'm gonna check the portal. Okay, I didn't get in. Okay, that's not that bad. I mean, I mean, it's not that unexpected. We just got one more college to wait for, which is Notre Dame. And that's, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna get into Notre Dame either. So I like really like Colgate and I'm really happy if I get in. I mean, no, I'm really happy that I got in. I'm so tired, I can't even speak. These clovers planted, but they're dead, so that might be a bad sign for Notre Dame the Fighting Irish. We're down to just like 12 minutes or 14 minutes until Notre Dame comes out, and I haven't been this nervous before a decision in a really long time. It's like, I'm starting to like breathe heavily, so I just need to like, Calm down by taking a deep breath because I guess it's the, it's the last one. So this will really determine a lot of stuff, a lot of things. Now my laptop isn't working so I can't even look at the decision. It's coming out in like two minutes. Oh, why is it just work? This happened during Middlebury too. That's why I didn't record it, because my computer didn't turn on, so I couldn't, I had to use my phone. <sighs> my computer has literally never taken that long to load before. Status update. Okay, I didn't get in, fine. That makes things easier. Well, that's a wrap, and now I'll have to decide between the colleges that I did get into, and I'm really fortunate that I've, that I have all these opportunities, and within the next month, I'll know. Thank you for watching.